What is going on everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to make a basic blaze spawner or a blaze farm where you can uh, kill them and gather their blaze rods and XP and uh, it works in survival mode, uh, skyblock servers, skybounds, all that stuff. Here's what it looks like. I just put a bunch of spawners up in the top so you can see what it looks like. The water pushes them down in that hole and they all gather right here and you uh, just kill them. I have a really good sword on right now so they're all dying. And then there's a bunch of hoppers down there and it gathers all that stuff and there's a lot in there. So I'll show you guys how to make it. First you just want to make a giant hole in the ground. This is where the chest and the hopper are going to go, which I don't have a chest. I need to grab one. Alright. Now, I need to get hoppers too. I was not ready. I forgot what I needed. Alright, so remember to shift and right click for the hoppers so they're all connected to each other. I just did a few extra hoppers this time because sometimes it doesn't want to catch all of this stuff. And you pretty much make a cage or a tower you could call it going all the way up. I'm just going to block this off like that. I'm going to go five high on each pillar. It really depends on what kind of height you want to go to. It doesn't matter because it's not a fall damage type of thing. You still have to kill the blazes. But it works better because when you have a sword with like looting and stuff on it, you'll get more anyways. I know there's some cases where you can use uh, water to kill them. But it doesn't drop um, doesn't drop the blaze rods all the time. If ever, I don't think they do. So there's our tower. And then we do five blocks this way. Only four long. You gotta build a platform for the water and add the wall. You just basically got to do this for every side. Make sure it's even. That's only four. I'm clicking as fast as I can. I can't build it that fast. It doesn't matter what uh, block you build this out of either block works. You can use cobblestone. I wouldn't recommend wood because it might catch on fire from the blazes. It's not likely because they're going into water, but I wouldn't take the chances. Almost done this part. I hope you guys can't hear too much of my clicking. Okay, then we just put water down. We put the water down in each corner and it flows right to the edge because it's only uh, four blocks long. And now you want to build up the sides. I'm going to put glass down here so we can see inside. Mr. Spot. You can make this spawner as tall as you want. I think if you make it a certain length, um, the spawners will just keep constantly spawning in, and if it's too short, um, the blazes are still in the range of the spawner, and it won't spawn any more in because they're too close, and you can only have so many within a certain chunk or something like that. So you're basically just making a giant cube with the water that flows down into it. And 
Now, when you finish building this, what, uh, something I'm not going to do is uh, put torches on the top. Uh, sometimes you can have uh, random blazes that will go to the top or spawn on top of the block up here on the roof. And uh, just to stop that, you put torches up there because it fixes those, it changes the light level. So they won't spawn up there, and they'll only spawn inside the cube. Almost done. I'm going to do... Nope, oh, that's what I wanted. Just make a roof on top of it now. Make sure it's level. Basically, I need to fill these in too. I almost forgot about that. Just kidding. No, I didn't. Oh, hey, Mr. Zombie, how you doing? So you see the chest is out here. You want to... Don't blow up creeper. I'm in creative mode. Gonna put slabs right here and down here. Now you don't have to do this part, I'm just making it look really fancy. Go away. This will let you just stand here and you can whack them all you want. Yep, that's what we want. Okay, so now we go back up here, and if you're on Skybound and stuff or Skyblock, you can buy uh, blaze spawners in the shops. I need to fix this. I think that'll, it's about to be daytime. It's gonna be too much light. You just put the spawners up top like this. I gotta change them the blazes and you watch them fall down the water they take damage from the water because this is a uh, survival mode but on skybounds and skyblocks I don't think they do but they'll just float down there and we can head out if I can get out there we go <laughs> struggle there a little bit you can hello you can see them just floating down you see how many there are too. They gather up really fast. You have the uh, window over here. You see all the spawners. There we go. We got four or five spawning in at a time, which is pretty good. That's very efficient. And you just come over here and hit them with your sword. I recommend using a looting sword and uh, high damage, which is sharpness or something like that. You kill them uh, quickly get a lot of more blaze rods and even here we already have 30 and we just started killing them and you can see how fast they're coming down still now if you're in survival mode and you the only way you can get a blaze spawner is uh, you go to the nether and find one of their spawners in the nether on that in the castle you need a silk touch uh, pick, get that blaze spawner, put it into something like this, and you can get unlimited XP. Uh, you can make brewing stands with uh, the blaze rods, but that's it. So I recommend using this on Skybounds and uh, Skyblock, the Skyblock servers that have uh, like shops and stuff, so you can sell them because they usually go for a good amount of money, and you can rack up some points doing that way. So 
Yep, that's how you make the basic uh, blaze spawner, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial. Later.